nerd dice. Welcome to this Stateless Codecast. This is episode number 63 in our series, Create a Ruby Gem, Nerd Dice. And so we finished our retro. We finished our release of 0.3. We're going to do a little bit of housekeeping and maintenance before we move on and dive into version 0.4 in earnest. So the first thing I'm going to do, as I've done in the other release branches or the other versions that have been released is create a branch for 0.3 stable and um, I'm also going to start cleaning up some of the merged branches but I should have done this before I push the changes to bump the version in master but we can work our way around this so let's pull up our terminal do a git status here so we're on master, do a git log. So we've got this commit here, which bumps the gem version to 0 0.4. We need to check out the commit before this and branch 0 0.3 stable off of that. quit out of our log here and we'll get the note that we're in a detached head state we're gonna do the exact same format as the other branches here so get checkout dash B this 0, 3x stable. Check our log. Make sure that we have the version we want there. I think we do. And so what we need to do on 0 0.3 now is I'll, I'll push it first so that we have it out on the remote. Got that. Now I want to go in and since we're on version 0 0.3, we will need to go into the code and you can note that the, the checksums from 0.3 are not there and they're in the subsequent commit. So if we look in our code and master here, you can see that we've got one commit after the release and if we go in here and take a look the the checksum files there are meshed in on the same commit that the version is bumped so I can't cherry pick that commit as is I will have to go in and check that version out. I'm also going to pull the the changes. So if we look here, this um, replace the benchmark, I'm gonna pull that in. So we're gonna check out benchmark. We're going to check out the checksums. And then instead of bumping to version 0 0.4 will bump to version 0 0.3.1 in our um, version 3 stable branch. So let's start working on this. Go in items there. We will check out map. 
master there. Check out our diff against master. All right, so that we also want to check out the change log. go in and modify that on the the stable branch here so in our change log we will make this instead of master it'll be actually I'll make it the actual branch name. So we'll call this 03x stable, and that will have the benchmark item there. And then I will need to go into version. lib nerd dice version make this 0.3.1 save it now as we learned from last time I need to bundle install spell bundle correctly look at our changes here so that looks good module looks good our specs look good so Now I'll commit this and put this push this to the, the version 03 stable branch. Write my commit message. So I've got my commit message. I'll pause and sign it. So I've got that signed. Uh, let's push that. See how that goes. Hold on here. When I push to the version 0 0.3 branch, my build failed. Both of the tests failed. Coveralls. So coveralls I think is down right now. Let me down for maintenance. That will teach me to have tight coupling of my build to an external dependency. 
but yeah, I'm just gonna let that stay failed. I'll rerun them once cover all is back up. I'm confident that I didn't break anything. Yeah, the tests all pass. It was just once it got to um, to cover alls, it's it's failing there. So I will leave that as is. Let's now do the second part of this sticky that I had, which is cleaning up merged branches. So the way to find out about this is you can either go into GitHub, you can look at your your view all branches here. We can look at the, the section stale here. So you can either go in and delete the branches this way, or you can do it via the command line. So I'm going to actually do it via the command line because I got I want to clean these up locally as well so we look at our branches I can just do Git push origin colon name of the bat uh, of the branch to get rid of the remote version of it. So we can see our add build branch should now be gone. And it is. Do the same thing for the local branch here. So you can get the idea. So I'll iterate through these and I'll pause and then we'll, we'll take a look at the, um, the Git branch and the, um, and the remote after I do that. So I'll pause for a second here. So when I went to delete locally the branch uh, code climate, it said the branch code climate is not fully merged. If you're sure you want to delete it, do git branch dash D. So I think what happened here was I, I cherry picked this into a different a different branch and then merge that branch. So this is showing as um, unmerged, but uh, I don't have a problem with deleting this. So I'll change the lowercase d to an uppercase d and delete that branch. So another thing of note, so when I went to, um, to delete the backup apply config branch, it gave me a warning that the uh, that this wasn't merged into uh, that it was merged to the remote, but not to the, um, um, not to head. So I just noted that and um, I'll uh, let that stay deleted. But So taking a look at this, this is something from January of 2021 where I had some commits that I squashed and rebased and then um, so and then merge back in there is at this point no need to uh, to keep this around locally I, I don't know whether it's on the remote or not let me yeah I think I'll keep that one on the remote since it has references to videos in it so I think I'll keep that one around. So I got another warning on add config when I did that. So 
thing that's been merged into the remote, but not to head. Um, I'll also keep that one around on the remote. So just keeping up with uh, the things that I've got locally. So I've kind of in progress here. I will keep working on these. All right, so let's see what we've got now. If I look at Git branch, so I kept around the uh, Travis CI init. Um, I'll probably keep that around in the remote, but not locally. Uh, asset update. So those that's where I had all the SVGs and stuff like that. I'll keep that branch around, even though we won't be building from it or anything. And then let's take a look at what we've got on the remote now. So we've got master, 0, 03 stable, 0, 02 stable, GitHub actions init, apply config, backup apply config. Let's see what we've got is. And then version 01, and then this this tech 004 is gone as well. So I'll just delete this one from the UI to show that you can do it that way too. So we'll refresh. That's all looking reasonable. So we'll let that, um, and then locally, I'm going to delete that. And I had a kind of experimental branch uh, for episode 16 that I'll also delete locally. So that puts our repo in a reasonable state. Let's go back here. Coveralls is still down, so I think I'm gonna stop things here for this video and pick up once uh, once coveralls is back online. Let's go to our backlog, our uh, zero 03 branch is set up. I'll rerun the um, the CI on it when the time comes and we'll pick up on the, um, the other housekeeping items in our next video. Thanks for watching this Stateless Codecast. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and spread the word. You can follow us on social media at Stateless Code. Until next time, keep coding and don't aggress against peaceful people or vote for others to do so on your behalf.